Hi everyone, this is Jessica Shaw. I'm writing, uh, talking today about Wikispaces. And in particular, uh, this is a Wikispace website, Wikispaces. I have particularly signed up for a Wiki classroom. And my classroom, um, uh, to sign up for it is very easy. You just do the sign up and you fill out all the information. So I did that. And you have to give your Wikispace a name. So my school is Gladiators, that's our mascot. So I did show gladiators to make life easy. Uh, once you sign up for Wikispaces, you get this uh, page right here. And on this page, it's your main page, your main frame, if you will. And you can actually have a discussion with your class when you have your class uh, in here as members, right along, right along here. This is all the discussion. So I set up um, a member, um, a fake member, uh, uh, Jeffrey P5. And I had him go ahead and post on here, uh, hi, Miss Shaw. Now, if I want to comment to what he said, I just click down here and say, hi, Jeffrey. So it can be a general uh, posting in the front, uh, just general discussion. If you want to put information up about assignments or uh, things like that, and you can have every, tell everyone to go visit the Wikispaces account, the Wikispaces uh, site, and you'll be able to do that. What the other thing that I uh, that I focused on that it, Wikispaces is really good for is setting up projects. So if you um, if you notice, both here as well as over on the right, there are the tools that you can you can do the different uh, things you can do to start a discussion. You can upload a file. You can add a page. And what I did was I added a project. Before I go to projects, I will also tell you that this part here is for the teachers only or the people who have who set up the wiki space they'll see this stuff um, and the students will not the students will see a straight line uh, so let me go to projects all right so here's a project um, and here's a project that I already have I'm going to show you the project that I well before I do that I won't show you the project I already have Let's say you're starting a new project. Start a new project. Here it is. Um, you give it a name. So the first one I gave was Disorders. This one I'll make it based on a book. Drums, Girls, and Dangerous Pie. Great book if you haven't read it. So this is a, will be a literature group. And in it I will say this is for your group to complete their literature questions and have a discussion. Just a little thing of what it, what it will be about. Start date, uh, you don't have to put, but most people do put it. And I'm sorry, there it is. So if we're going to start reading the book, my group will start reading the book actually on the 18th. And the due date, not everybody puts a due date because they want to be able to keep it ongoing, but our due date is very simply going to be our last day of school, June 26th. Um, and then I just, that's it, I create. Oh, over here, I can uh, monitor the, reply, the replies that people post to it. It allows people to put posts to it because I have questions about it. I can also lock it so that doesn't happen by clicking it. I'm going to let people post through it so I'm not too worried. I can allow comments to the post or not allow comments to the post. So I'm going to allow comments and uh, notifying all the students that are in this group by email if I want to. So there's my group. Um, right now nobody's in it uh, so I'm going to need to add some of my teams. Uh, I only have um, I only have one student, so I'm not going to go crazy with this right now. And here it is. Here's Jeffrey. I'm going to put him in the blue group. That's how you do that. You have all the students' names down here, and then you can you just click them and drag them into the groups. Uh, I have not seen. Um, a better way of doing that at this point. That looks like it's the only way to do it. So uh, now you have your groups and then you're all set to go to 
your page. To go to the page, I'm going to go back to projects here, up here, and I'm going to click on here. That's not the one I want. My apologies. Let's go to drum skills and dangerous play. Alright, and this is once again if you want to edit or navigate, uh, change anything on here. I don't. So, so if you'd like to go and see how the blue team is doing, how they've been doing on their project, you click on that and that brings you to their page. When they're on the page, you can add a discussion and this is what the students will see as well. Uh, they can add a discussion, but they can also edit it and by editing it, uh, they can start to add information. Let's say they, a question is posed by another student and other students are going to uh, say, say something. You can also, um, if you're using it as a research project or something like that, you can put a link to on this page. You can uh, grab a file that you've already have um, and uh, insert it as well as as well as images. And then this is a the pretty exciting part about it. This is a widget. On a widget, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. I won't show you everything, uh, but I will show you that you can post a video. You can create a spreadsheet uh, through Google Spreadsheets. You can uh, get a document. You can do a poll. You can grab an RSS feed somewhere. So these are things that you can put as needed, uh, depending on what this particular project is. This one is more for literature, so you might do a document on it, or you might um, grab a video or something from it. But that's really all that you would really do uh, for a literature group that I would do right now. It's one of those you have to look at and play with and try it a few times to see what works best for you. So this is uh, the basic page that students are working on for their projects. Uh, when you're done, you can go back to projects, you can go back to home. One other thing I want to show you is the assessment page. This is really good because this will show you where students are. If you can see I've been on it. Um, and the key is over here. I have been reading, uh, and reading, I guess, shows that there's if there's not no activity, but you're on the page, then you must be reading. Uh, if I start writing on it, then it would show that there was some writing going on. As you can see, Jeffrey has not been on at all, uh, and this this gives you some real time how long it's happened. You can actually have this open while the kids are working in class, and you can look to see what they're doing. Uh, for those students who might not be. Uh, Participating, you can connect with them and say, hey, what's going on? So this gives you an idea. The kids don't know what's going on. Uh, only you can see this. Uh, okay, I'm going to pause and then, and then show you what a child would see. So if you were a student, you would come. Uh, you would already be signed up uh, because you would have uh, got an invitation from the teacher, had a code, and then put the code in. So Jeffrey did that. Jeffrey P5. He's going to sign in today. And here's what he's going to see on his. Uh, Jeffrey P5. Here's his email. You have to have an email. Students have to have an email to, uh, to join Wookie Spaces. Uh, I tried doing it without, but I could not. Um, so here he had to create his own Wookie. And uh, so this is another, another thing that they have an opportunity to create their own Wookie. Good or bad, I'm not sure. Uh, this is positive and negative to everything. So I went to the one, if you just noticed. Uh, the one, his favorite wikis, of course, are his teachers. So let's say he has multiple teachers that have wikis. Uh, he's able to go on based on each each classroom. So here is his uh, class, Jumps, Girls, and Dangerous Pie. He happens to also be in one uh, for projects uh, and events. I'm sorry. Um, he also happens to be in another one. I can't find it. Though. Maybe he's not. I didn't put him in there yet. So here is the one that he really needs to go to. Drums, Girls, and Dangerous Pie. Now to get to where he needs to be in his literature group, he comes over here. And when I see the hand, of course, you can click on it. And this brings him to where he needs to be working. So if he's going to edit this and add anything, um, he can begin typing and all the stuff here. If he is not going to edit, he can cancel that. 
And if he's just going to add a discussion, he could say, what did you think of the first chapter? Maybe he's adding this to his group and asking them what they thought of the first chapter, an opportunity for them to speak with each other, but not necessarily within a group. Uh, then he can post that and see what everybody has to say. All right, and copy that and put that in the body. And say chapter one as my title. Cut my page as much too much. And I post it. And any and any students that are in there, although there aren't any now, can come and comment on it. And then you'll have a whole list of commenters, a whole re whole feed of commenters. So there you have it. This is Wikispaces. Uh, this is again, the student's picture here. And there are all kinds of things that you can do as a student here. And when you're on the teacher, you can see what he's, what he's actually done. I encourage you to try it and see how you like it. Give it a whirl. And have a good night.